already. So I'm finally gonna do how I epoxy the rolling tray set, right? Because I've been saying I'm gonna do that for weeks and I'm just now getting to this, um, finishing this tray set. So <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys how I epoxy the rolling tray sets um, with my magnet attachment on the turner. And then also later this evening, I got a rush order for a cup um, for a family member. I'll show you guys how I spray paint um, my cup, my ombre spray paint on my cup. I'll be able to show you guys that. So what you guys are gonna see me epoxy is this tray and this tray. And then I have the other pieces to the tray that I'm gonna also epoxy um, today. So let me uh, tape off this, uh, this jar real quick before we get started. So the um yeah. okay, so the epoxy I'm gonna use today is um casting no East Coast resin. Hey Kizzy, East Coast resin epoxy is what I'm using today. Um I used a trial size of this epoxy once before and I really liked I mean it cured super fast. Um it had a stronger smell than the um, Envirotech Light Pour On, but it cured really fast. It cured really clear, like a really shiny, clear finish on it. And I didn't really have a lot of bubbles with it. So I had tried a trial size of it a couple of months ago. And it, excuse me, I went ahead and bought the gallon sizes on it um, off of Amazon. So, that's the epoxy that I'm gonna use today. So I'm just taking this off. Um, this is the stash jar on the rolling tray set. And I glittered these in a live before and I'm just now getting to doing the epoxy on them. But this is Barbie Pink by Essence. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah. Put that on here. And then I'll put you guys this way and I'll show y'all how I mix my epoxy. Hopefully y'all can see it. So I have my epoxy, and I always go over this when I do my epoxy mixing. I sit my resin, which is my thicker one, on a coffee warmer inside a coffee mug, and I'll let that heat up. So I have that sitting in there. And then I have my two different medicine cups labeled corresponding with my containers, so I don't get them mixed up and I set those in here. So what I'll do is I'll pour out my epoxy and my medicine cups. And I'm just gonna do um, full cups because I have quite a bit to epoxy today. There's one. And there's the other cup. And I'm just gonna do two full cups. And I'm gonna pour my warmed epoxy in first. make sure I get it all in there oh thanks Greta hey Ch 
Chumbly? Chumbly? Yeah, Chumbly, I think. And then I'm pour my other part in there. And I'm going to do one of the trays and um, a couple other pieces so y'all can see that. I'm not going to do both sets um, on here. So. And I use baby wipes. Um, they're great getting epoxy off your fingers. And what I'm going to stir my epoxy with, um, excuse my nails y'all, I'm so overdue. What I'm going to stir my epoxy with is these stainless steel stirs I got from Amazon. Let me turn on the light. <clears throat> so I'm just going to stir until it's clear. Um, I don't really know how long that is. I just stir until it looks clear to me. I hope this is coming across okay. It seems like a little time delay on my end. It's really weird. I don't know. I hope y'all see the video okay. So, um, when you mix your epoxy, you're supposed to mix a lot slower than how I mix. Um, like, about like this is really how you're supposed to mix, right? And it helps to reduce on the amount of bubbles you have in your epoxy and all that. Um, I'm super impatient, so I mix kind of fast. So, just gonna stir. And it just takes a couple minutes for it to clear. Um, the reason why I heat my epoxy, oh great, Tabitha, the reason why I heat my epoxy is, for one, the resin is really thick, and it makes it easier to pour, two, it helps to reduce the bubbles, and three, it mixes a lot faster when the epoxy is warmed up, when your resin is warmed up. Yeah, I'm using it upside down. I like it better this way with using the um, ball end <laughs> for whatever reason. It seemed to work a lot better for me. I tried it both ways and I don't know, the ball end, I don't know. I just like the ball end in my epoxy. I don't know why. Yeah, so it's getting there, you guys. And so, like, when you also when you're stirring, you don't like you saw me just lift the stir stick out of the epoxy. You don't want to do that. That introduces air into your epoxy and that's really not what you want right so do as I say not as I do <laughs> I'm telling you guys the right way but I'm not doing it the right way I'm gonna try my hands at making <laughs> right <Tabitha>? <laughs> I'm a rebel a tumbler rebel um, I'm going to try my hand at making silicone molds and um, I'm going to try it first and then hopefully I'll get around to showing you guys how to do that. And um, Melanie, who's in the group, she did it using the Umu, which is also what I have bought, but I haven't tried it yet because I was waiting for some acrylic pieces to come in. But she uses the um, wood pieces. so. And she's in Canada, and she said the wood pieces are a lot cheaper to come by than the acrylic pieces. So, and I posted 
uh, some links to YouTube videos on making silicone molds before and um, if anybody's interested in that. And the reason why I wanted to try it is really for that tumbler mold. I wanted to try that. And um, Bear Mountain Designs, they sell the tumbler silicone mold, um, but she's always sold out of the one with the keyhole chain. So, and I got a couple that I wanted, but they're, I got the thinner ones and I want the thicker ones for a deeper mold. But those haven't come in yet, and I have a feeling it will take me weeks and months to get those in, too. We're almost there, y'all. I'm going to open my mini blinds and get a little more light. I don't know where my lamp went. So, I'm like, I'm going up. I'm trying not to lift it out. Um, with this, I'm doing a full 30 mils of each part. So, uh, 60 mils total. But um, I'm not going to use all 60 on the tray. I have other pieces on the tray that I'm going to use. Well, with the tray set. Okay, just like a minute more. But when you mix your epoxy, you want to make sure you're mixing on the sides and along the bottom. You want to make sure you're mixing all of it. I'm just going to clean this off with the wipe. And um, it's a good thing about these stirrers. You just wipe it and it's ready to go for the next use. trays I do put these on the turners but when I first initially apply my glitter I apply my epoxy with it um, standing up like this um, it's easier for me to do it this way than trying to apply it with the epoxy with it on the turner because it's oddly shaped compared to a, tum a tumbler so I'm going to let my epoxy sit for a couple minutes while I get my gloves on. And then once the epoxy is pretty much covered on here, I'll add it on the turner. I'll put it on the turner and then I will um, do go over the edges. Is and I'm just gonna, I moved my turner to the end of my table. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm just gonna pour in on there.
and then I just move it with my finger. And I'm just going to go up around the edges on the inside I'm just going to drag my finger along all the edges and then bring it up. I just want to make sure I get it in there. Because as it's turning, it's going to settle into those nooks and crannies. turn you guys a little bit to you can see this way and I'm just going to stick it on my turner And I don't know if y'all can see the epoxy, it's moving. Alright, so then I'm going to do this um, lid. And I just go ahead and get that spinning. I get it on the top of it, on the inside. I'm just epoxying, um, hi Marilyn, Kathy. I'm just epoxying my tray set that I glittered like two weeks ago, I think, or maybe a week or so ago. I'm just putting epoxy on it. And 
and it's a magnet attachment that um, between Amina and I we came up with this magnet attachment and there's a video in the group on how I do that how I do the magnet attachment for the trays so this is the ash tray I'm doing right now y'all really can't see it anymore So this is the ashtray that I'm doing. making sure that epoxy covers the ashtray all the way. I'm sorry, I'm moving y'all everywhere. Alright, so there's a little epoxy left in here, and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to dribble it on the edges. because those stay pretty rough for a good long while. So. gloves off and I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles this torch is just a micro torch and it's one I got from Harbor Freight so I'm going to turn y'all around um Sometimes I do the top and bottom, and it's all dirty, hold on. But I did the top and bottom of one, and it was just too time consuming, so I've just been doing the front. And um, if I have it, I'll spray paint the back a coordinating color and put a clear coat on. And this is just going to pop any bubbles that have come up and it'll get the epoxy moving so it'll flow and cover pretty evenly. And I'll do the same thing here. And the same thing here. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a torch. <laughs> that's been epoxied, that's been epoxied, and that's been epoxied. So, I still have to do this one other tray, and this ashtray in that jar. Um, is what I'm going to do next. And it's the exact same procedures. And that's how I epoxy my tray set and put it on the turner. So, that's really, that's all there is to it. No great genie tricks or anything like that. <laughs> Sherry. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to mix up some more epoxy. Just doing a full cup, medicine cup of each equal part. <clears throat> of each one. And these I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. And this is what I'm using to pour. That I refill for my epoxy in and I use that instead of a pump or the big containers. And um, I use those because of the fact that I have my um, resin sitting on my coffee warmer. So the FIFO bottles, I could use them, but it would kind of defeat the purpose because I wouldn't want the part that I poured out of to be sitting on the heated element, the heat element of the coffee warmer. So. And I didn't really show how I epoxy the stash jar because it's just like doing a tumbler. Um, really. The only piece that's different is epoxying the tray because of how it's shaped. Hey Priscilla, Joanna, um, it's a, I use a magnet attachment that I put on my PVC arm and there's a video in there that shows how I did that. In the group, there's a video. If you just um, search magnet, it'll come up and it, there's um, pictures and links to everything I used to make it. And it's just a, it's like a cabinet magnet from Lowe's and PVC coupler and um, E6000. That's all it is. If y'all have any questions about anything, go ahead and ask them. 
Um, it doesn't have to be just related about the tray, just anything in general. And if I have an answer, I'll give it to you. Oh, I know I haven't been on in like forever. You're welcome, Joanna. And I'm just going to kind of just mix it with some sun. And I don't know how long I've mixed my epoxy for. I just mix it until it's clear. Um, one day, I probably will time it. If I remember, I will probably time it. And I can give y'all a guesstimate on how much time I mix this for. But the epoxy I'm using is East Coast Resin. Hey, Stacy. Um, this is East Coast Resin that I got off of Amazon. I need my lamp in here. It's so dark in this game room. This little light. I think that makes some sense. It still doesn't look all the way clear, so I like one more minute of mixing this epoxy. And just wipe my stir off with the blood. I'm gonna wipe this tray off a little bit as it looks a little dusty. Oh, damn it. I had 
sprayed. I sprayed the clear coat. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't mess this up, but we'll see. Put my gloves on. I shouldn't have sprayed it with alcohol. I just should have wiped it without anything. Y'all see that? Let's see what it does. I'm not spray paint this over. Okay, okay, I'm good. So I don't need as much on this one epoxy because it's just paint, it's not glitter. Where's that 15%? So I'm just gonna spread this. I'm just going to use my finger to get it around all the way to the top. And along those edges. You want those to be nice and sealed too. And then I'll let that spin for a little bit, and then I'm going to hit it with my torch. Right. So I'll go ahead and do that. Damn it! Y'all, I just spilled epoxy all over my floor. Okay. That was gonna be my last batch. All I had to do was that ashtray and that um, freaking jar. Oh well. Let's see that ashtray. Okay. Let's see what happened.
is not enough to do that. So I'm gonna pour this into some molds. I'm just gonna pour it into these little keychain molds I have. Or pendant rolls, is there what you want to call it? y'all can see me do torch. And this is just going to pop any bubbles that may or may not have popped up and I will get the epoxy to flowing. And then So we got that one, that one, didn't get to epoxy that, but it's just a jar, so you would do it the same way as you do a tumbler. Um, that tray, and those pieces. So yeah, that's what we got. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, if you were wondering how to do it, this is how I epoxy my trays, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.